75 M is called ST underscore donkey. So, um, well, actually, it's called STG donkey in the stages, but the REL file, the module file, whatever, STT, ST underscore donkey, that's 75 M. So, you want to copy that file, go to your SD card, go to the PF folder, go to module file, go to the module folder and paste that in there. Now that you have st underscore donkey dot rel in that module folder, you need to go back to stage and and go to the go to the melee folder, and then you have your stg file dot pac still there. And since you want it to be on 75m and not found destination or battlefield. WHATEVER! We did it on Battlefield. Let's just pretend this thing said, uh... There. Let's set... Okay, that's what it said. Th that's just what it said, okay? You go back to your melee folder and it says stgbattlefield.pac And you're like, I don't want to be on Battlefield. You have your module file in there that's st underscore donkey dot rel that is configured to work with battlefield type stages that, that you made with the stage switcher program then all you gotta do is just rename the battlefield states to stg donkey dot pac no spaces just stg donkey dot pac and you're done just put it in your game and you know load up your revolution it should be it's your work it's your work it's your work and you, you should just Go to the 75M states and select it, and boom! You're playing that one Battlefield space stage, or you're playing your custom stage you downloaded that you wanted it to be on 75M. And that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. And so, if you got this, these stage, if you got a stage and you're like, I didn't, and it gave you a module file, and you're like, well, I don't want it to be on that stage, then delete that module file it gave you, and then just Go to Stage Switcher and find out what file. And be sure to do it on the stage it's based off of. Because this stage right here is not based off of Mushroomy Kingdom. It's just made for that. Er, it's just... It just came with something to make it work for that. What you need to do is find out what it's made for, what it is based off of, what it's compatible with. And the only way to do that is to open it in Brawl Box. Because they're not going to tell you because they want you to play on Mushroomy Kingdom because they gave you a module file with the download. So, in order for you to find out, you got to open it in Brawl Box and then look at the file, or look at the stage name on top. And it says STG Platitune. Usually Platitune is um, Sky World. But it doesn't really. M it, but uh, so so what you would do is go to Stage Switch, Stage Switcher, and go to Planetune, the REL, and then you would just um, look on this thing for Sky World, Sky World, Sky. There it is. Look for Sky World, and then you're like, oh, what do I want it on top of instead of? Um, Sky World. If I don't want it on Sky World, what do I want it on? I want it to be on. Mario Brothers, and boom! I was right. Planet Tune, whatever that is, is uh, is Sky World. That's what uh, I don't know why they call it that, but it's that's what Sky World is. Um, so yeah, and then you just close this. Up, up, up! Stupid mouse. Close the state switcher. Go to e go to the edited folder, and then you'll see the file called uh, Famicom, the Mario Brothers stage. That where you jump around and you hit the you know, the 8-bit stuff um, that's from that over the old Mario game. Um, it's called ST underscore Famicom. So, and on the um, melee, in the, in the uh, stages, the stage actually is called STG Famicom. So, the, so we copy the REL file. We go back to um, the module folder. We paste it in there. Then we go back to stage melee. And then we're like, okay, we... We're going to change this to STG Famicom. Oh, Famicom. Famicom. 
And then, there you go. Now it's on the Mario Bros. stage. And then you're like, well, what about this one? This one is... There's no second stage for this one. So, we'll be, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to just go and say, this one is on Mushroomy King... No, wait. It's not Mushroomy King... Okay, it's this one's also on the Sky World. So we go to the Sky World, the Platoon thingy. We go to the Sky World list on the thingy. We click Sky World on the list. We had the Platoon thing selected too, because Platoony is Sky World, but the Plat but Platoony is what the file name is called for some reason. And then we go to the stage that we want to shift it to, and we say, I want it to be on uh, Luigi's Mansion, I guess. If, if, if whatever, Luigi's Mansion. Click Start. Boom. Now it will. Now you go to. Uh, now you go to the edited folder. You go to the stage switcher folder. Go to the edited folder, and there it says st underscore mansion. Luigi's, Luigi's mansion's really hard. Really, uh, Luigi's mansion's really easy to find because it's called mansion, and it's the only mansion stage in the game. So. You look for stgmansion.pac. That's the name of the f stage. But the name of the module file we need is st underscore mansion.rel. So we copy that. We go to the module folder and we put st underscore mansion.rel in there. And now we go to the stage, melee. We come here and we're like, okay, now this one is going to be on STG Mansion. Now we have the day stage on the Mario Bros stage and the storm stage on the Luigi's Mansion stage. And there you go. Now whenever you select Luigi's Mansion, it will be the storm stage of that stage. And then whenever you select um, select uh, Mario Brothers, it'll be the day stage of that one stage we got. That was that Nuka vs. Capcom. And then for 75M, whenever you select that, now it's going to be... Um, what was that? That that skiff thing, the thing with the uh, island in the background. It was a f that used to be Final Destination, but now it's 75M because we changed it with an REL file. That's how that works. I hope you guys understood this, um, and I hope it helped you out. Uh, give, give me comments in the comment box to tell me what um, uh, if uh, if you need any more explanations or anything. And hope this uh, was understanding to you guys. I'll see you guys next time.